Hey everybody, welcome back, nice to see you again. Uh, welcome back to fart number three. Uh, fish and related things on the internet. I don't want to keep talking about this, but people keep mentioning it, and on my videos that I've got nothing to do with the King of DIY, I still get questions and accusations and support for the views that I've expressed before. But I'm kind of bored of it. Um, but I don't even need to do anything anymore, because he's kind of doing it himself now. The last video re he released, um, telling us about his checkered past, how he'd slit someone's throat, how he had been involved in lots of violence and criminal activity and various things like that, but now he's a changed person, so that's all great. So I thought it'd be nice to do a video with a bit of a positive spin on that, and say something nice about Joey, rather than always hitting on him. Um, obviously, he still is a terrible aquarist, a con man, rubbish at DIY, and just generally never had an original thought in his life, but with that said, if even half the things that he's said in his previous video are true, and that's a pretty good average based on my previous experience, then that is a really positive thing. If he's no longer out there committing crimes and hurting people, and has changed, brilliant, well done. And if you're in a similar situation and you've had a bad past and you're struggling now, then I can totally see why you would want to look up to him and what he's achieved um, in YouTube, if nothing else. Because, yeah... If you start on that path, you end up in jail or dead, essentially, and that's where it goes. So, well done, Joey. Um, I know we've had our differences, but I'm really glad that you're doing well now, I guess. I'm a bit less impressed by all the little whiny bits and crying to camera because it's all terrible and it was because I was in poverty. <sighs> lots of people are poor, lots of people are in poverty. Most of them don't end up going down that road so I've got more respect for the people who don't do it in the first place than I have for the people who do it and then get caught and change about the only thing that I've ever been interested in in my life besides violence for those that are struggling out there and having a rough life don't let your past depict your future it's not too late to change reinvent yourself remove people from your life focus on yourself and yours don't worry about what everybody else is doing. And at the very least, stop caring what other people think of you. Says the man that jumps over any negative post ever made about him anywhere and throws his dummy out and has a little hissy fit. People don't want to see you win. And when you do, they will try to bring you down. You might see it happen to me a lot. Where people with insecurities and living miserable lives, see me having some success and gotta find something to bring me down about, but know nothing about me, and have zero clue how passionate or how much love or how much I put into this or what this really actually means to me. I do what I do because I feel like I owe so much back to the hobby. These days I wake up and I cannot explain to you how excited I am to be me. He then goes on to cry for a little while again. But it's not always about you, Joey. It's not necessarily everyone's jealous of you. It's sometimes just people pointing a finger and calling out the amount of BS that you're putting out there. Yeah, it is what it is. Well done, let's move on. I'm kind of fed up talking about him now, so I'll let him do his own thing. I just felt I had to say something, because I thought there might be people going, oh, he's not going to say anything now, because he's scared of the big bad, or the, the little bad Canadian guy, he's, now that he knows he's violent. Well, I'm not scared, and I'm not worried, or anything along those lines. I'm just bored of talking about it now. Um, so let's move on, let him do his whatever it is he's calling it these days, and I'll do what I want, and everyone can live happily ever after. So 
So now we have the section where I talk about some other channels you may or may not have seen. And if you haven't seen them, please go and check them out. Drop them a subscribe or a comment and a like. Tell them I sent you over to check them out. That would be good. Um, let's start off with Prestige Reef. This is a primarily saltwater channel. Um, you may know it as another name. It used to go by the name uh, Miss Saltwater TV or Miss Saltwater Tank, rather. Uh, it was presented by a very camera-friendly lady. Um, but what was actually going on was a guy called Ryan who was doing all the content and writing the script and getting his girlfriend, who just happened to be very good-looking, to present it. Absolute genius when you think about it. Uh, why wouldn't it have been a success? Um, but unfortunately they broke up and it just kind of fizzled out. So there was a big long break. He came back a few months ago, uh, explained to everyone what had happened. It was nice to see that he didn't get any hate for deceiving people or anything like that. But it was always him doing the content. It was just getting his girlfriend to present it all. Um, but the best thing about it is... The content's still as good as it ever was, it's still as informative, it goes into great detail and covers lots of areas of the hobby, um, but he also appears in lots of collaborations with other YouTubers, so they went to some events recently where everyone was videoing each other, as they do, and he's constantly getting the piss taken out of him for this, and they'll say, no, you've changed a little bit in the last few months, and Fair play to him, he takes it on the chin every single time, um, which is a credit to him. But the channel is great, go and check it out, um, tell him I sent you along to have a look. I've never met the guy, never interacted with him or anything, I've just always followed, always liked it, and it's definitely worth it. The next one I want to bring up is another channel which has been going a lot longer than I have. Um, it's Psychedelic Babe, she's another UK YouTuber who has been around for years, really community-minded, um, does lots of unboxings, does fresh water, does salt water, or did salt water. Um, really prolific. Uh, but I remember when I was just getting started, and I only had tiny, tiny amount of subs, um, I got a shout-out from her on one video, and I thought, there's only like eight people following me, how can she possibly have seen any of my videos? But anyway... Um, but like I say, so that was the, the community-minded element of it. Um, she's always trying to bring people together and running competitions and doing unboxings. In fact, the CO2 kit that I was talking about in a previous video, that was one off of one of her competitions about a year or more ago. Uh, just that I'd forgotten all about it. So I think for everything that she's done for the aquatic community over here, it's probably... The least I can do is to suggest you go and check her out and see what's going on with her stuff. It's definitely going to be worth it. The last one, or the third one for today, is... This is a channel that I came across it because I wanted the name. So I used to be called Discus Newbie. Um, and I didn't like it because it was too specific for Discus. And I wasn't a newbie anymore, because so I've been doing it for years. I wanted a new name, uh, and I came up with the name Dramatic Aquatics, because it sounded nice, it's very alliterative. Um, but unfortunately, it was already taken, and it was taken by these guys. So when I was doing that research, I checked them out and started following along. It used to be a channel where they had a pet shop, a, a fish shop, and setting up that fish shop and all the things that were involved in that, and then they were running it. But unfortunately, it hit hard times, and they had to close, or check out the videos for yourself for the exact reasons why and then they moved on to kind of these madcap projects um inverted fish tanks fish tanks above ground in the winter made of glass filled with water a car filled with water and made into an outdoor pond lots of crazy stuff like that um i think one of the most recent one was setting fire to a batman using a bi orb as you do um, but yeah, it's not as weird as it sounds. Go and check it out. It's definitely worth it. Um, looks like they're having a laugh and it's definitely fun. And if you get nothing else from a video other than it being fun, what more can you want? Last but not least, we've got a bit of a friendly rivalry brewing um, across the pond. We've got a channel that I mentioned in one of the first videos, uh, The Simple Fish Life and Matt's Monster Fish are having a bit of a race to 150 subs, I think it is. They're both pretty close now, um, with the loser having to do a bit of a forfeit. I think they're talking about whoever loses has to take a pie in the face. 
I'm sure we can think of something more inventive. Stick some of your ideas down in the comments. Maybe we'll get a race to 500 with something, a proper forfeit. But yeah, check out those channels. Support the one that you want to support. Obviously, I'm on Team UK, so I'm going to be supporting the Simple Fish Life. But you make your choice and give them your sub or check them out at the very least. So, unfortunately, in the last week, um, we heard about the death of Jack Watley, who is a big name in the discus world. Um, oh, this isn't going to be a eulogy or anything like that, but he, there's lots of information out there on the web. Please go and look it up and you can find out about all the uh, amazing things that he did for the discus hobby. Um, it was... I'm a discus guy, so that's how I heard about it. He has a Facebook page, and one of the nicest things that I saw there was on the Facebook page, or the Facebook group themselves, was all the big names from across the world that are in the the discus hobby were all leaving their condolences, and some of them sharing nice stories about interactions they've had with them. Uh, and it's just a nice story of how he got into discus, what he did, how he took it through, and passed it on then to Gabriel and all the things that are involved in raising, breeding, keeping discus and moving it forward as a, a hobby, he had a hand in a lot of that, um, especially in the Western world, if you like. Um, so, yeah, check that out. Leave your condolences if you wish, or just have a look and learn a little bit more about him and the work that he has done. And in a couple of weeks, I think it's the 19th of October, we have the Aquatic Experience out in uh, New Jersey, I think it is this year. I'm still waiting for someone to contact me with details for my spare seat that they're going to give me on their private jet. Otherwise, I'm going to be watching it from here, I'm afraid. Um, but it's uh, a huge event in the US. It has tons of YouTubers going. I've been invited into the Facebook group for all the YouTubers that are going. Unfortunately, I'm not able to go myself. So I get to see uh, who is going and then be really jealous of them, basically. Um, but what that means is there'll be loads of videos coming out, so it'll definitely be covered and you'll definitely get to see what's going on if you check out um, all the videos around that time. If you've got your own aquarium club or you're running some kind of events, please get in touch. Let me know. I'm more than happy to share them out here. I know I've not got a huge audience, but um, every little helps. Um, but other than that, I guess it's just that time where I say please click on that subscribe button and click on the notification icon do all that stuff it really helps out and um, but just thanks everyone for watching and see you next time bye bye <laughs>